What is up, guys? This is Jason from Kuchum. Today, I'm really excited to announce that we have released a new feature called Construction Drawing. For those who are not、uh, familiar with it, I'm gonna、uh, show a few slides, show you what is a construction drawing. Essentially, it is when you, as a professional designer, when you do interior design or any renders of the project, eventually you will need to turn that into a 2D drawing,、uh, which can be exported into a CAD or PDF format. To and hand it over to general contractors or building architect to keep working on the drawing or、um, just start building it.、Um, so, in this quick short videos,、um, we'll have more detailed tutorial videos later. I'm going to、uh, add few more. I'm going to, I'm going to show you.、Um, I'm going to show you around about this new beta features,、uh, which is free to all the users. Um, so there will be questions, but I encourage you guys to reach out to me on West on the on the WhatsApp group.、Uh, also, um, uh, I'll keep. Also, I'll be exploring it with your guys.、Um, I'm learning day by day of、uh, new stuff, new features about Kuhom. So let's get to it.、Uh, first, let's enter our project. So after you finish building a project, this is pretty much what I have.、Uh, you have a full set of floor,、uh, fully decorated with furnitures and soft finishes.、Uh, you also probably have, you know, renderings, you know, galleries.、Uh, but here you might have noticed there's、uh, a one button called Sheets.、Uh, so once you click on the Views Manager, this is where we enter our construction drawing set.、Uh, what's really amazing about this construction Construction drawing set is,、uh, I actually did not do anything to generate those drawings. So you can see there are a few、uh, big categories we have in here. We have color floor plan.、Uh, those are great for presentation purposes to a client,、uh, especially like this one.、Uh, they have different color options and also fully dimensioned.、Uh, not to mention, if you zoom in onto the plan, you will have. Uh, the option to control and click and delete elements that you want that you do not wish to see, like this. And also,、uh, I would like to remind you guys in the construction drawing set, this is what we call a view list. So,、uh, two parts of the construction drawing you have the first part, the view of your drawings, which means、uh, floor plans, reflective ceiling plan, and elevations. Will be all saved here. So that goes to the second part of our view. The second category is really the plan views.、Uh, I'm gonna quickly go through the floor plan. This is where the dimension of your walls and windows, basically all fixed elements.、Uh, you have your furniture plan.、Uh, also, you have your furniture size plan, which contains more detailed dimension of the furnitures and the spacing between them.、Uh, floor finish plan.、Uh, you can have.、Uh, How you tile? How we like to tile your floor and different、uh, and tagging your floor finishes here. Our reflected ceiling plan.、Uh, you can see all the lighting fixtures have been showing here, which is amazing.、Uh, doesn't that just complete the loop of the design process?、Um, also, you have ceiling size, which I don't personally use a lot,、uh, but I want to encourage you guys if you really want to add any views, or you, you can literally just duplicate this view. Like I just say, clicking here, and if you don't see any views that are making sense to you,、uh, feel free to delete it, which is perfectly fine because this is just coming out of you know a cool home template.、Uh, this view is going to be very important. It's called the elevation index.、Uh, I'm actually going to clear all the elevation marks that I make and all the ele elevation views, so I can do it again. All right. So once you see elevation index and there is no elevation view whatsoever. But then, what you can do is you can generate elevation. But you can do is let's go to the elevation setting and see.、Uh, there's some help documents here, which you can see that you can automatic you can automatically choose whether the elevation need to choose need to be including the、uh, you know the side of the wall or it can just you know missing the walls.、Uh, in this case, I'm just going to select the first one. Uh, so one trick about so one of the amazing tools that Kuhong has is called Auto Place right here.、Um, also, I'm going to show you if this little bar window disappear, 
you can always click and make it happen again. Okay, uh, you can always click and make it show up again. So let's go to, uh, let's use the auto plays. In this, in this function, this will auto plays all the elevation views that is possible within all floor plan. So you don't have to do that manually yourself. Uh, but of course you can do that manually, but I'm just gonna click here and hit OK. And you can see elevations has been created for each room and almost all spaces. Uh, same, same thing if you have used Revit before, if you click on the elevation views, you will see that you will be able to adjust the view range here. It also snaps on the wall, which is very, very useful. You can you know, explore the depth of the view here. Basically, you are exploring the camera angle here. And again, you can go to the elevation view. I know the facade looks a little weird, but we'll change the wording later. And do not freak out if you saw some Chinese characters in the elevation. Uh, we are, this is a beta version, and we are constantly updating our uh, elevation contents. So you can see already, you can see the furniture pieces, and you can see you know, all the tags that you can, and you can also hide this if you don't want to. So usually in the elevation view for the interior project, I don't necessarily need to show any furnitures. So in here, that segues into how you can control the visibility of the object in the elevation. So you can check, uh, you can check the hidden objects right here. You can show all hidden objects, or you can keep the hidden object invisible. So let me hide it again. And once you, but once you click show all hidden object, you know, obviously you can't go back. So I'm just gonna, you know, hide it back. You also have different options for, in terms of dis display mode, you know, have the black frame mode and you have texture water map. So this will be really useful for the floor plan. But usually I just like to use a wireframe mode. Okay. You can also use auto annotate. Uh, this adds the, you know, dimensional line automatically in, and also break that into conveniently into different sections. Uh, you can also place that yourself. Uh, I'm not going to detail, uh, you know, how exactly, um, you can also, you know, you can also place yourself and we have several options right here. Uh, also elevation mark, this is really uh, useful. We actually trying to tag, you know, uh, if you're trying to, you know, mark the ceiling height, Uh, but since this elevation, I probably should use it in the, uh, you know, reflected ceiling views. Uh, so once the elevation has been created, you can see not just one, but all the elevations are lives in here. Uh, and then you can go through all of them. And since you might have noticed a little window right here, uh, which let me just drag it open a little quick. This is called, uh, this is where Kuhong shows its true capabilities of being, which is, a short version of building information uh, modeling. Uh, this is literally showing the construction drawing is updated live. It's synchronizing constantly with your 3D model. So if I actually delete some chairs or even moving their chairs, I'm just trying to move these chairs. So um, uh, let me show you. So what is, <clears throat> So what is this uh, information link? So what is this modeling link between the con technical drawings and the 3D models? Let me show you one example in the floor plan. So you can see the view is synchronizing with us. Let's go to our furniture plan, right? Uh, let's go to our 3D model here and let's drag this side table. And did you see that on the furniture plan, the table actually moved with it? This is what I'm talking about. So whenever you make any changes, you delete the windows, you move the doors uh, in your 3D model, you don't have to redraw it. You don't, yeah, that time has gone. You don't have to redraw it. You're like working online version of Revit, however you call it. Um, so this is going to be super useful for you guys. Um, and um, to, in, order, in order to keep this uh, video short, I'm going to show you uh, in this tech bar, I'm going to show you on top toolbar, uh, you can do auto annotate, which we'll just show before. You can do the dimension for yourself. And also you can add different tags. Uh, I highly encourage you guys to try it out and see, uh, you know, and some of the tags are smart. So it actually reads the information, for example, the room circum, the, 
for example, the room areas, right? If, it, if, you, if you actually use the tag, you actually read the room areas. And also you can control it with the lead or font size. Uh, this is also, you know, if I zoom in right here, I know it's a little bit small. You know, you can always do different tagging on your floor plan. Uh, whenever you want to delete anything, it's very simple. Click on it. Uh, very easy to use if you use any uh, related AutoCAD uh, products. Uh, again, also text sizes, uh, you can add, right, adding text. And there you go. And you can also change that whether if you want a lead, you know, of the tag, let's say this is a window. And delete this entry part. And there you go. Uh, you can also clear all the drawings if you feel, okay, you know, this is too messy. I would like to do the dimension myself. Feel free to do that. Uh, once you're happy with all the views that you have right now, um, again, I'm not gonna go to the prefabricated views things. Uh, I don't think anything is necessarily uh, important from this sections. Uh, once you're happy with, again, once you're happy with all the views you have created, go to generate sheets. And this is the second part where Kuhon has preloaded templates. And you can see the floor plan has already been placed on the printable sheets. This is where you can download all the sheets that you have generated. So we have generated 36 sheets with just one click. Uh, and let's want to see one of the examples if you want to go to the elevation views. So let's unselect this and download this elevation views. There you go. Unzip it. And let's check it out. This is our sheet. You can also download it, of course, in the CAD format as well, which is totally fine. Um, and then besides, you can easily download. Uh, you can also make modifications by adding different texts. So you can have, you know, general notes, right, and place it here. It automatically snap with the frame, which is pretty nifty. Uh, also, uh, the big important part I forgot to cover right here is uh, the relationship between the view and sheet is uh, the view actually lives on a sheet. The sheet is kind of like a picture frame, a photo frame of your view. So uh, if you want to do uh, Kuhon, will auto, Kuhon will automatically generate uh, one sheet for each view. Sometimes for the elevation views, uh, if I click here, it might be too much. So two things you can do. First, uh, it's really important you can always change your scales here. Uh, right now it's just standard scales. And I know it's, it kind of sucks, but uh, we do not currently uh, support uh, inches and feet system yet we're we're only now supporting matrix but we will have that pretty soon um, so if you want to add the views once you adjust the scale say okay I want this whole sheet to be just elevations so you can always go to insert views go to all uh, I know it's a little bit hard to read uh, apologize again but you know we're com we're gonna update it we're gonna fix it uh, you go to renovation views and you go to elevations. I'm just reading from the initials here. You can see all the previews windows right here. So this is where you can say, hey, I want to have a living room elevation on the same time with our terrace elevation. Just drag and drop into it. And you can see automatic line. So uh, as a previous job and in interior design firm, I found it super useful. And if you, as long as you can drag and drop and, you know, let's drag more views into this sheet. So it has a little bit more content, right? And again, uh, download it. And this time we can download it through a cat format. And boom, this is the file we're looking for, plot style. Sorry, not a plot style. This is the file we're looking for, renovation sheets, right? 
So then you can you know further add add, add and add more informations if you need to. But our ultimate goal is, as a designer, you don't necessarily have to do anything outside of Cool Home. This is a one-stop shop solution. So let's hit save and go to added views. If you actually you know, want to make more changes, you can always go back between the added views and generate sheets. So if I click generate sheet, you can see, you know, I can always go back and forth between the sheet view and between the, you know, uh, the actual view. And also something here, you can go into each elevation and edit them. For example, this, uh, for this, you know, example, then I can, you know, simply delete this and I can go back to the elevation index or I can just go back generating sheets. And you can see the views, you can see the view has been updated right here. So uh, that's pretty much it about the first, you know, uh, impression of the construction drawing. Oh, I forgot one more thing that you can also add, you know, your folders here, which is going to be really useful. You can, you know, you can, you can name your folders. Okay, uh, let's see uh, if you wanna close all the views, you're like, oh, I need a new field folder here for, you know, presentation. And you can drag and drop the views into the folder, I believe. And you can add new sheets for a presentation. So then uh, you can actually, let me see if you can move the sheet into the... Uh, maybe not. And another great part is you can also add, add your own sheets and rename it, you know, custom sheet. And of course you can place, you know, you can, unlike Revit, it doesn't allow you to place multiple views on one sheet. You can actually drag and drop right, right here where you like to, okay, I have the new sheet of the print for different purposes. Um, and this is it. Uh, so I'm sure you guys will have more questions, but uh, so feel free to reach out to me at WhatsApp group or um, you can directly email me at jason at jason.wong at coolhome.com. Um, thanks for watching and enjoying creating your technical drawings with one click. Uh, I'm always here to help. This is Jason from Cool Home. Thank you.